Good afternoon. This is my Shaman Oracle reading. I'm finishing up my weekly reading today. I'm reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here is for Aquarius. Welcome Aquarius. I'm using five decks and the reading starts with the Shaman's Dream Oracle card. And out for you came Wood Wives. And the card Wood Wives is about adaptability, strong roots, and growth. The Wood Wives, they dance into your dreams as a reminder to be grounded no matter what life offers you. You need to know who you are, what you will tolerate and what you have learned to date and what boundaries to set so that you feel good about yourself. Life is going to offer you something extraordinary now and in order to learn and receive its blessings you must remember that being grounded gives you more freedom, not less. You have everything you need. You have all it takes to do this right now. So if you also keep reminding yourself to be flexible, you will be amazed by how well things play out for you. The wood wives, they are both wisdom keepers and students of the new world as these forest spirits have an uncanny ability to adapt to changing circumstances and always find a perfect way to grow and to expand. They represent what you already know how to do. So learn be in a beginner's mind, let go of your rigid notions of how things should be and be present to what is right now, unencumbered by your projections. Is there a storm brewing because things need to change? No worries, nothing can uproot you now and it will pass and you will dance with nature and move with it all. Perhaps you are being given an opportunity to take a chance on something new and you are not sure how far you can go without losing your footing. Have no fear. For when you remember your roots, your integrity, your authentic self, then you can stretch yourself beyond the invisible line that you drew. So go for it. You will be so glad you did. The work you light or the card that came out is pillar of light and the pillar of light is your vibration is rising and you are the oracle well that's good to know in my case since i'm reading oracles so if i myself am the oracle that cannot be wrong right so it starts that you are heaven and earth in perfect expression, a conduit for the light of the heavens to the earth. You are the rainbow bridge. So take time to meditate and imagine yourself as a pillar of light connecting the light of the heavens above with the earth as the light shines through each of your chakras you activate a rainbow bridge that many ancient 
scriptures speak about. Raising your vibration and the vibration of the planet and so linking the higher realms of the cosmos, guides, angels and spirit with the ancient wisdom keepers and beings of the planet Earth. They dance together through you, they sing together through you without your body, voice and creations neither can be expressed. For too long we have been taught that God is outside of us, giving away our power to the angels and the spirit guides. But without you, they do not have a voice. You are the oracle. So do not look for guidance outside, for you hold all of the wisdom of the entire universe in the portal of your heart, in every cell of your body. So do not see the angels and the guides as above you, for without you, they have no way of communicating. You are the oracle, you are the rainbow bridge, you are the pillar of light. Say this, work your light activation. I allow the light of the heavens and the light of the earth to flow through me now. I activate the codes of remembering within my cells and chakras. I activate my system as a rainbow bridge between heaven and earth. That's a nice thought, I think. Now comes the secret destiny oracle card and out came patience and patience relates to dense Fog. Water represents our emotions, our feelings, our subconscious and our nocturnal dreams. When the water becomes condensed as fog, we cannot see clearly. Fog occurs when the air is cooled to the point at which it cannot hold or the water vapor it contains. Thus, it condenses water vapor where it is suspended in the air as fog. We cannot see what is ahead and things that look one way in the fog will look another way in the light. However, when you cannot perceive what is on the horizon in your life, your imagination can search forward and your sixth sense can be ignited. The sacred landscape wants you to know in dense fog it is best to be quiet and still. For now, do not go forward and wait. It is hard to see what lies ahead and things may not be as they seem. Things that seem one way may in fact be completely different. So be patient, the truth will emerge. In this state of obscured visi visibility, your imagination and intuition can be sparked. So if you can wait long enough, your dreams and inner yearnings, they can come to fruition. So listen to your intuition and pay attention to those seemingly random thoughts. Oh yeah, that's a good idea to be patient and so wait, if you wait long enough, dreams and inner yearnings, 
can come to fruition. Well, we all hope so, right? So, lovely animal oracle card is the next one. And that one is the hedgehog. Hedgehog's general message is that the cycles of the moon and mother nature, they are sources of magical energies. So walk in nature and gaze at the moon and let your worries be turned into solutions and receive the tranquility and strength you need. Hedgehogs, they are about cycles, sources and solutions. The strength of the card is you are self-aware, you have self-knowledge and you have knowledge of the nature. Opportunities are that there are new solutions that you can engage with serenity and with strength. Some weaknesses might be that you have some deep and inner fears and some dangers might be that you are longing for experiences that you will never have. I can believe that one. And the last card is from the Archangel Animal Oracle deck. And out came the horse. I have the wrong page here. Wait, the horse here. And the horse is about to care for others and let them be free, says Archangels Mary and Christiel. Horse says the incarnate from Lacome, the ascended aspect of Sirius, and these elegant, refined, and magnificent creatures, they are all fifth dimensional. Their sole contract is to serve humanity, while in return we agree to look after them and honor them and let them be free. These beautiful animals have huge hearts and there has always been a strong bond of love between them and us humans. They are great healers and have a special closeness with children. They are linked with the angel Mary who pours her divine healing light through them. Recently, when enough people raised their frequency, Archangel Christio entered this universe through his cross-shaped star gate in Lyra and poured divine feminine light through the moon into the causal chakras of all. It affected everyone, but particularly the sensitive, refined, high-frequency horses, and it reactivated the higher mission, which is to bring Earth into divine and perfect balance. And I think the earth needs the balance because what's going on right now on this earth is just awful, I think. So we need the horses to bring perfect balance. The guidance here is that this card calls you to expand your heart center and focus on your noble qualities and aspirations. You are reminded that in order to honor others, you have to let them be free and you must first also respect yourself and set yourself free. So tune in to the great universal angel Mary 
and let her wonderful healing, divine feminine light, bathe you and dissolve the old. Then take decisions that chime with you and light you up. Visualize the full moon or look at it if you can and be aware of Archangel Christie's shimmering milky white light extending to your third eye and a magnificent pure white unicorn walking along the light to touch you. This will start to activate your own personal create so qualities. Watch a higher path unfold. So that was the reading for Aquarius. Thank you very much for listening, Aquarius. I wish you a wondrous day today. I wish you a wondrous rest of the week. Take care and goodbye.